on Shopify, you have several payment options that you can set up, including Shopify Payments, PayPal, and many other payment gateways and providers. In this video, we'll be taking a look at various payment options you can set up on Shopify, how to add a new payment method to your online store, and also other payment features such as dynamic checkout buttons and payment customizations. Shopify offers over a hundred payment providers and online payment gateways, allowing you to find and enable the best payment options for your online store. During the checkout process, customers can choose to pay for their order using any of the payment methods that you've enabled. By enabling Shopify payments or other third-party payment providers, customers can check out from your store using a major credit card such as Visa, Discover, or MasterCard. Also, you can enable alternative payment methods such as PayPal, Apple Pay, Amazon Pay, and even gateways to accept Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency. So let's head over to Shopify and check out the various payment options that are currently available. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you click my link in the video description to unlock your free trial. No credit card is required to unlock your free trial, and if you like it, which I bet you will, you can get three months of Shopify for only a dollar per month on select plans. If you're an entrepreneur, Shopify is definitely the most popular and one of the best platforms you can use to build your online business. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. You should then be taken to your account dashboard. Here's where you can view your analytics, manage your products, and of course, add new payment methods. To manage your payment methods on Shopify, we'll need to start by going down to the settings menu at the bottom left. This will open up a new menu where you can manage the settings for your store. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you should see a tab that says payments. Let's click that now. This will take you to your payments menu where you can view all the different payment methods that you have connected to your Shopify store. In order for your customers to pay using a credit card or another popular payment method, you'll need to set up Shopify Payments or another third-party payment gateway. I recommend getting started with Shopify Payments. It's simple to set up and you can begin accepting payments instantly once it's enabled. With a Shopify plan, you can simply connect your bank account, enable Shopify Payments, and start accepting all major credit cards and other forms of payment in your online store. If we click the Manage tab in the Shopify Payments menu, we can view more details and manage our settings. Remember that Shopify Payments comes with your account, but the rates you receive will depend on the plan that you have. In the Cards section, you can select to accept all major credit cards, including Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, and Diners Club. And if you're using Shopify Payments, you can also enable ShopPay and ShopPay installments. With ShopPay, customers can save their shipping and payment information to help them check out faster. And with ShopPay installments, customers can pay for their order over time. And with Shopify payments, you can also enable wallets like Apple Pay, Google Pay, and MetaPay. So now let's go back to the Payments tab from your Settings menu and check out some additional payment methods that you can add to your Shopify store. If you aren't able to use Shopify Payments or want to accept payments that aren't available with Shopify Payments, you can choose from over a hundred third-party payment providers that you can add. Currently, the additional payment methods I have installed are PayPal and Amazon Pay, so when customers check out from my online store, they'll see my Shopify Payment options and any additional payment methods that I've enabled. So before we go through the process to add a new payment method to my online store, Let's check out the various payment gateways and providers that are available on Shopify. To view the payment providers that are available in your country, let's head over to shopify.com slash payment dash gateways. This will take you to a page where you can browse all the various payment providers and online payment gateways that are available for you to use. If you scroll down, you'll see a menu where you can select your country or region to find which payment providers are available. Shopify is partnered with dozens of top international payment providers around the world. By enabling payment gateways in your region, customers can pay in their local currency using their preferred payment method. So for my region, let's select North America from the continents column on the left. And from the menu on the right, I can now select United States. This will take me to a page where I can view all the various payment gateways available in the United States that I can add to my Shopify store. Of course, Shopify Payments is available in the United States, so I definitely recommend that you enable that if you can. 
But if we keep scrolling down, we'll see that there are dozens of payment providers and gateways that you can add to your Shopify store. Whether you want to accept traditional forms of payment like credit cards, or other payment types like Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, you'll likely find what you need on Shopify. When browsing payment providers, make sure you check the company that's providing the service to make sure they accept the currency that you need, and also that you understand their rules and fees. So now let's head back over to the payments menu from our Shopify dashboard and go over how to add a new payment method to my Shopify store. If we go down to the additional payment methods section, we should see a button that says add payment methods. Let's click that now. This will take you to a page where you can search for the payment method or the payment provider that you want to add to your Shopify store. From the search by payment methods tab, you can search through all the various credit cards and other forms of payments that are available. For my store, I already have Shopify payments enabled and PayPal, but I've always been into cryptocurrency, so I want to be able to accept Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as well. So from the payment methods drop down menu here, let's select USDC, which is another form of cryptocurrency. You can also simply type in the search bar to find the currency that you're looking for as well. So let's see if we can find a provider that will allow me to accept USDC and Bitcoin. And from the results, we can see there are actually three providers that offer cryptocurrency payments. You can now check out each payment provider and make sure you go over their fees, their rules, and the various currencies that they can accept. There are currently only three providers for cryptocurrency payments, but if we were to search something like Visa and MasterCard, we would get dozens of results. If you've already researched the various payment gateways and providers and know the one that you want to use, you can simply go to the search by provider tab on the right. Here you can search the payment providers and view the various payment methods that they accept. When selecting providers, make sure you find one that's available in your region and has the forms of payments that you're looking for. For my cryptocurrency payments, Coinbase has always been a reputable company. So let's search for Coinbase and see if I can find Coinbase Commerce. And from my results, I can see that Coinbase Commerce is a provider on Shopify and the various cryptocurrencies that it can accept. So to add Coinbase Commerce to my Shopify store so I can accept cryptocurrency payments, let's click on the activate button here on the right hand side. You'll then need to follow the steps to configure your new payment method. Each new payment method will have its own requirements for installation and configuration, but typically you'll need to log in or create an account with the payment provider. You can then simply follow the steps to connect it to your Shopify store. After installing your new payment method, you'll then be able to manage it in your Shopify dashboard. But in order to make it visible in your online store, make sure you go down to the bottom here and click on activate. And voila, Coinbase Commerce has been activated. So now if I go back to the payments menu main page, under additional payment methods, I should now see Coinbase Commerce. And the status is active, so the payment method should now be available in my online store. So now let's head over to my Shopify store and see what options customers have during checkout. I have Shopify payments enabled, so customers can use credit cards and shop pay. I have PayPal enabled, and customers can now purchase from my online store using cryptocurrency using the new Coinbase Commerce option. It's super easy to add new payment methods on Shopify, so feel free to browse and add the payment gateways and providers you feel best suits your needs. On Shopify, you can also help customers check out faster by adding accelerated checkout buttons. With accelerated checkout, customers can save their email address, credit card, and shipping information, allowing for faster checkout and more time to find awesome products in your store. So let's go over how to enable dynamic buttons on your product pages. If we go to the online store tab from your Shopify dashboard, you'll be taken to the page where you can manage your store theme. If you look at the bottom right hand side, you should see a button that says customize. Let's click that now. This will take you to the theme editor where you can customize the various pages of your theme. So let's go to the drop down menu up top here and then click on the products tab. You can then click the option with the star beside it to edit your default product page. From here, of course, you can edit the default options for your product pages. So from the menu on the left hand side, let's go to the product information section and click to edit my buy buttons. From here, 
you should see a checkbox that allows you to either enable or disable your dynamic checkout buttons. If I select to show my dynamic checkout buttons, you should see it appear under my add to cart button. This could be an unbranded button that simply says buy it now, or if you've added accelerated checkout methods like shop pay, apple pay, or paypal, they'll be displayed on the button instead. Also from your Shopify theme editor, if you look at the menu on the left hand side and go all the way down to the bottom, you should be able to edit your store footer. If we click on the footer heading, it'll open up a menu with various options. Go ahead and browse through the various sections until you get to one that says payment methods. If you click the checkbox beside show payment icons, you'll see icons appear in your footer for all the various payment methods. So that's a quick overview of payment providers and online payment gateways on Shopify and how to add a new payment method. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.